Yeah. What, so, uh, what is this project about? Project Zero is a technology demonstrator. Yes. We developed it to test some technologies that we are interested in and that we could try on a representative scale platform. So it's a fine test pad in practical terms. But it has been designed as electric propulsion, individual blade control and electric mechanical actuation for the blades as well as uh, to provide us a platform on which we can test hybrid propulsion technology. Additionally, it's a fly-by-wire aircraft and therefore we can be able to develop control loads for this non-conventional aircraft. It has been built uh, over six months period between the end of 2010 and mid-2011 when the first flight took place and then we've flown it uh, all the way to the second half of 2012. So what is the roadmap in terms of uh, when do you plan to, is it, is it something which will be in production at some stage? Right now we have conceived it exclusively as a test bed and a technology demonstrator. We are okay. now looking at how to take the technologies that we have developed and verified on this platform onto other products, as well as we are considering how to possibly take this architecture to a different level. If you have the Boeing Osprey, well Boeing Osprey, is this something that could say develop into a product like that? Right now, I don't think so, but okay. uh, it's all dependent on time and money. Okay. What's the most significant factor of this technology demonstrator? Well, certainly the non-conventional architecture and uh, quite definitely the use of electric motors for main propulsion as well as electromechanical actuators for all the actuation on the aircraft. So we have no hydraulics on the aircraft at all. And uh, the blade pitch, which is controlled individually, blade by blade, is done through electromechanical actuator as well as the tilting of the nacelles and the retraction of the landing gear. Okay. And uh, uh, in terms of engines, who, who makes the who makes those engines? The motors are made by a company in Italy. Okay. And uh, it's called the Luca Elettromeccanica, and uh, they are the relative of uh, uh, subsea type electric motors. What is the most significant part of this technology? I mean, the most difficult part which is developed. Uh, the, the biggest challenge has been the development of the electromechanical actuators for the individual blade control as well as the development of the electronics to drive them in a consistent and reliable manner. Okay. And uh, uh, how much does it cost to make this development? Uh, that is unfortunately a piece of information I cannot disclose. But I can tell you that it has been extremely cost effective for what we have accomplished. We are very satisfied with the money we spent. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. You're welcome.